we've got a Pinot Noir for lunch today. Yes, so it's de-alcoholized red wine with 0.5% for the entire bottle. Less than what you would get for kombucha. Uh, some people, though, don't want any alcohol in their wine or their drink, so it's not for everybody. But if you're thinking that, oh, this is zero proof, I, I would consider this a zero proof drink. You're not going to feel a buzz from it. Yeah. Maybe from the sugar content, but that would be about it. So we have, um, just taking a look at it. First of all, I guess we should probably. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. The bouquet is, the bouquet is okay. <laughs> wow, that's fruity. Yeah. It is. Now, there's kind of a couple ways you can have these non-alcoholic wines uh, chilled and at room temperature. So that, that'll give you a little bit more, it'll open up the flavors a bit more. doesn't really have, you know, things like the legs and whatever you would expect from a normal wine, but this is a nice little Pinot. Yeah. I like it. So we've had good luck with lights, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really love their sparkling white wine and their sparkling rosé. And I usually get them in the can because it's so nice to just have a single serving, take it with me if I go somewhere, like to the movie theater <laughs> or picnic. Yeah. Very convenient. Um, I am impressed with this so far. I uh, definitely, I could drink this, just sip away at it, just like this, personally. It's not very dry. I usually prefer something a little bit more dry. They did add sucrose, so there's a little bit of extra sweetness in there. I think yeah. That's... Now, your Pinot-type grapes are going to pair good with turkey and uh, with poultry and with fish. So that's a, that's a nice, perfect wine for the holidays. You don't want to have a cab in there because it'll overwhelm your, your poor little turkey. We're trying this with a prosciutto and a light, a light cheese. Mm -hmm. What's the cheese? It's a Sorry. Iberico. It's from Trader Joe's. Uh, you test it to see how it pairs, so to speak, with your food. Mm -hmm. One of the flavors that we'll try to pair it with is pear. Mm -hmm. I thought it worked well with the pear. I'm trying with the ginger cookie now. It's still tasty. Yeah. All right, I'm going mm. to add just one dash of the cherry bitters, just to see. This is from All the Bitter. This is their New Orleans style. It is made from anise, cherry, and hibiscus with some of the ingredients. It's very bitter, very earthy, fruity. Let's see how it works in the pinot. So the Pinot's, you know, the Pinot grape has cherry kind of components mm -hmm. and because it's an oak aged, mm -hmm. I believe, you get some of that oaky. Yeah. Not too much, but. I definitely feel the, that earthiness in there now and I like it. Mm. It definitely took the sweetness down for me, which is good. Stops me from just guzzling it. <laughs> And this is 20 bucks a bottle, mm -hmm. which is a, so far our best price point for a de alkalized wine. Mm -hmm. Besides the free brand that you find at Venmo, those are usually around $10, but they're very sweet. This is more of a mm -hmm. nice addition to dinner for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is great. I would serve this for. Thanksgiving or for a yeah. holiday party, definitely. I would not feel cheated if I were to be sitting at the table mm -hmm. drinking this. Yeah. And what, give it a 7.5 or an 8 or something? What would you give it? Yeah, I would definitely give it a, a 7.5. I guess 8 would be because of the price point. Yeah. 
And I, but I feel like if I was really going to find a red wine for dinner, I probably would choose the Joyce. <laughs> I still really, the really, cab? I still really, really enjoy that. Yeah, that cab. Um, but you wouldn't want to serve that with a turkey, probably. No. Well. Yeah, that was good. Thank you, lights, and thank you, boss on for sending it to me. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. Happy holidays. 